A tidy up down here. Watch on. Let's drop the gloves. And here we go. Watch on versus. And it's pretty lively, I've got to say. That's a fairly lively Brandon Miles. Really going for it. And ultimately, Brandon Miles, I don't know who called that fight, gets his man down. Something must have happened off ice there. But I'll tell you what, they're uh, nursing a cup. That's gonna that's gonna boil over. Yeah, there we go. Players into the net, hard to the goal. Everyone taking exception. A few punches being thrown left, right, and centre. That's a very young player in Edwards by the looks of it. Still got a cage on. There we go. And looking at Kemp there. Kemp's having a conversation as well. It was predicted in the the chat as well. Linesman's not doing a very good job to break this up. Now some order being restored. And we're going to have a go. Connor Glossop's going to go. I'm not sure who he's going with. Looking like 71. Just sizing each other up right now. Grabbing in. Right from Connor Glossop. Right from Connor Glossop. Now they'll tie up. Winners player just swinging into the body. Connor Glossop's got full control of this. Jersey over the head. Uppercuts coming in from Glossop on the right. Full equipment stripped from Glossop on the witness player. He'll just hold on. Good strong fight from both players. Connor Glossop getting the better of that one. Hopefully that's not the only thing the Lions can win this evening. There we go. I mean, Bruin there. I mean, obviously it looks like it's been stewing over since the end of the second period. So it's finally here and happened now. And you've got and to give all credit to Glossop there, you know, defending his man and his teammates. Yeah, and with players going in hard on Lucas Sheldon when he's got hold of the puck. Witness wild players <laughs> congratulating their player on getting involved with that fight. I think he definitely came off the worst of it. We'll stay, excuse me, we'll stay five on five. The net's still off at Lucas Sheldon's end. Linesman going over now to uh, to fix that. We're back on the way, we're going to have our second fight of the night. Zach Yokoyama squaring off with big number 15, Kemp. Yokoyama giving up plenty of size to Kemp. Kemp looking the more seasoned of the two. Trying to size each other up, down to get hold of each other. Yokoyama looking to get them rights going. Just out of reach right now, Kemp coming with the big right bombs. Yokoyama tries to get the second one round. Kemp with the takedown. That one looked like it was over before it started. Yokoyama giving up the... Uh, the, uh, the size and the reach advantage. We didn't even get a chance to get all the penalties from the last uh, events on the ice. And we have more now in the box. Yokoyama and Kemp look like they're just going to go two for fighting each, uh, five for fighting each. Yeah, I mean, we might need a bigger bench. Um, the Own dumping. Well, Tried to play it back. Edwards poking at the pickle out in front. And, oh, oh, well, oh. Edwards isn't happy with that one. We've got some handbags. Edgar's in yeah, there. Yeah. Coulter's in there. 
So it's Edgar's and Edgar and Edwards called to be in restrained. Well, and Phil Edgar. Well, the English Canadian have gone. We've gone. Alex Mitchell's gone there. Can't tell who he's gone with, but it's a good tilt. Left going in. He's got the shirt over the pair of them pads and he goes down. And that's certainly going to change the momentum in the game there, Gary. And you can guarantee hockey fights are going to want that one. going to be a penalty and Joe Gretton oh JJ well there you go nothing doing didn't look like it was pitchly with the original uh, challenge but then Gretton's Oh, Tom Barry's around and about, I should say. We'll bring you the details of the ensuing penalties. Have we got a replay? Like a replay of the hit. Yes. So it might be goodbye with the. Uh, what looked like the knee. I think the last four goals have been power play goals. Yeah. The last three goals by the Phantoms. Well, goodbye. And Joe Gretton. Goodbye, Turtles. Joe Gretton's going to get invited to go down the corridor. His evening is over. Carry the puck up. Excellent work now by Abba. Abba what a chance to go in on net. Tries to go around his man. Gets a big hit from James. And uh, Bailey High Pitcher thought that was a bit of a cheap shot. Has gone over to have a word with James. Into the final minute of a five minutes for Jager Stanton. Still five and four hockey here for the Thunder. Harris. To get away from Wardlaw. Oh, now we've got Scott Ander and James going at it. And uh, Ander gets James down very quickly. And uh, it's all sort of kicking off down there now. And I have to say, everybody and anybody that wants to get involved now, 
And it seems to me as though this all started because James is back on the ice after that hit, almost premeditated to a degree. Plans executed, Sam Sean still in front of his player, who's on his knees. Well, it's all got a little bit... Oh, I've got a little bit messy now. And you just feel that a lot of that resonated from that hit by James on Abbott. And sort that one out. The referees will go into overdrive down below our feet now. Lightly pick up, but but Chamberlain looked to send Talbot through. Ch uh, Talbot felt there was a bit of a slash on him. Galazzi applies the body on Norris, and that's a bit of a bad hit from Chamberlain there. And it's all going to kick off in the corner now. Let's see what happens here. Some of the Chamberlain's dropped the gloves. They never really got going. Now Green's going. Green stopped the gloves. Green puts his man down. Linesman taking Chamberlain over to the box. Green over to the box. Blood's been drawn. I think that's I think that's Pitchley who's going to the bench with some blood being drawn there. Sam, pick that one apart. What do you think happened there? It's a solid hit uh, on Shawnee. And I think Bobby just came in to, to, to back Shawnee and just say, that, you know, that's one of our top guys. Um, and then the rest is history there. If you push Bobby, he's going to push back. saved away nice little ping there but nothing doing on that but now Yokoyama has got that puck loose one-on-one -on -one. and oh there's a big hit there on Yokoyama there we go and there's a fight now literally oh, looking at that it was coming it was a terrible hit on Yokoyama there he's still on the ice but then there is two in and throw in between the two players and there is an official who's just slipped over while he takes them both to the penalty area there, but there is handshakes between the Hawks player and the Lions player as they reach the benches. There we go, so looking at that, there is conversations there between both sides. And Blue Clouds and Thomas is speaking to one of the officials now just to get confirmation while we look at Yokoyama is on the ice at this current moment at the station. So yeah, so there is just communication there where a couple of the players from the Nottingham Lions are standing with Zach Yokoyama after he took that hit on the ice there. There's just obviously some concern now 
Yeah, it seemed a knee on knee, hip on hip uh, hit, and that's what kind of drew the reaction that it did. And Yokoyama seems to have come out the worst of it, going at such a speed and being stopped that quickly. It, it, human bodies aren't meant to do that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, looking at the um, velocity that he came on the ice there. Um, see it's come away the puck now with Hamill. Hamill did very well there to see that hit and get out of the way of that from Sean Norris. And uh, a few of the guys weren't happy with Norris for trying to take a hit on the junior. And we've got a fight coming up here. It's Bobby Chamberlain involved. Bobby Chamberlain throwing here. Both players hanging on. Not many punches being thrown at the moment. And it's up against Lee Pollitt. Not a bad tilt this between the two of them. As Chamberlain looks to try and get the takedown. Pollitt holding on there. Fair play to Pollitt. He's Chamberlain fires a shot through there and lands a punch and now it's going to go off here. I thought this game, with, I thought this one was just going to end in a tilt in a draw, but Chamberlain with the takedown in the end. And I think they'd probably take that as a trade there for Chamberlain for, for Pollitt. Pollitt's only making his first season at the uh, beginning of uh, at international level. He joined from the Hawks. And fair play, he hung in there with Bobby Chamberlain. And that triggered from the hit from Sean Norris on, well, the attempted hit from Sean Norris on Cameron Hamill. We'll wait to see what's called on this one. They'll probably be both five for fighting, I imagine, here. It was just starting to fret and have to boil over a little bit and just have a few issues like this. So two minutes has been shown for Chamberlain here. I don't know if he's going to get an, ex an instigator minor in that as well as or a roughing minor. We'll just wait confirmation. A couple more. And there's a bit of uh, verbals going on there. Bobby is chatting. Oh, and Chamberlain's still not happy. And it's still a bit, few, a few verbals going on. Not quite too sure what's triggered that one off there. in on Headley and just covers up this time round 906 or 905 remaining remains 3-0 oh we've got a bit of afters coming down on the bench here just past the uh the bison bench uh, let's know what was going on there words being said I think, uh, I think there's Talbot and Norris in there and now they they're going to start throwing down Talbot's gone I haven't taken their gloves off it's Talbot and Landsberg's Chamberlain's dropped the gloves I'll see who they've gone with there Liam Morris Chamberlain's gone with gloves off helmet off Morris is down there as well. Chamberlain throwing some bombs around the helmet of Morris. 
Morris is given as good as he can. No, Chamberlain keeps throwing. And Morris eventually goes down. Well, we're appreciating that. That's going to make for a tasty second half of this game. This will be interesting. So Bobby Chamberlain goes to the box, obviously. Morris goes. Talbot's going to go and take a seat. <laughs> Landsbergs is going to take a seat. I don't know what Eddie Landsbergs was doing in there. The both teams now five on five. Big hit, no call right there. Looking for the interference. Gloves are going to come off right now off the back of that hit. It's back in the hair. Hair just gets the hand swinging against Sisters. Sisters goes down as he as Dylan that play right through. Bite of the cherry loses it and Bowering needs. And that's. And that's oh! Good. Norris goes! Tilt, Bowering and Norris. A couple of bombs from both of them. Bowering at. Uh, Bowering had chipped the puck into the MK uh, bench. Norris unhappy. And uh, Norris on points. I'm wondering if Norris thought that Bowering had chipped that over into the, uh, into the MK bench deliberately. So Bowering puts it out. Norris goes into the back of uh, Brad Bowering and uh, takes exception to Bowering's response. If I'm honest with you folks at home, I think uh, Norris invited that one. But stood up for his team. off right hand side of Pearson's net won by the wild as he looked to pinch in quickly on the power play can they make it two for two and there's certainly some that's Clancy there in the far side and here, we go. here we go and we've got drop close yeah. baller with Clancy well MJ has skated before for witness Barlow been with witness for a couple of seasons now and it's going to be Clancy who's swinging first, Barlow coming over the top of the right, Clancy doing well to hold off and swing him with his own right, Barlow looks like he's got him and he takes him down and it's a great one for the fans, you could tell something was brewing. Yeah I think they, they've played on a few teams together them two haven't they? So. And good sportsmanship yeah. afterwards, yeah. well that'll uh, just settle anything for now.
Again, big cut on his cheek. Connolly up through the back. Great physical play by Aaron Connolly. And, do you know, Nathan Pollard has been in the box already and he could go again. Here we go. Connolly goes with Gretton. And uh, Gretton gets the takedown. As soon down. as it starts, it's over. The officials there just looking to see who is on the Peterborough Phantom side. Who's uh, dropped the gloves and it's Joe Gretton of course. So does that count as a weekend Gordy then? I mean he's got the goal, he's got the assist, he's Conley. got the fight. And Gretton, well you know, yeah we've got that on the replay. And you know what, that's a trait with all the greatest of respect. So young Mr. Gretton, that's a trade you'd take all day long. So the score is six. Thank you. in a power play this is where leads have been dominate through the season they make you pay for your mistakes and again that's going to bring an end to this second period early chat at the blue line looks like guys are going to drop the gloves and here we go two big players brooks has started swinging he's throwing bombs right now gonna tie up and he rolls his play over the blue line Just got that right hand open up at the blue line. Him and Archer having a good talk right now. As again, James Archer again, back in the day, he could throw him as good as anybody again. 2.26 remaining in the period. Oh, well, Joe Gretton and uh, JJ Pitchley. Now, before the game started, if you were going to put money on two guys who would have had a dance, you'd have probably said Pitchley and Gretton.
Talbot. Chamberlain. Now we drop the gloves. And it's Chamberlain. I think it's Corich. And Chamberlain's got a couple of shots off, but they fit the helmet of Corich. And Chamberlain is now unloading on Corich. Chamberlain looking to stumble a little bit, just getting rid of his helmet. Now they can go properly. Officials just standing out at the moment. And Chamberlain goes down, but it's Chamberlain got the lion's share of the hits in there. Well, Bobby Chamberlain will go and take a seat in the box, as will Nick Corridge. In fact, Chamberlain's gone to the uh, locker room. And Corridge will also leave the game as well. D-side are certainly playing physical. And There's uh, been a couple of big hits that you think you see called. Ross Murray's thinking about going here. Number 29, it's McKinney. Ross Murray and McKinney are going to drop the gloves. Yeah. Here we see Ross Murray's bald head. It's what can he do? So they McKinney and Murray are going for it. Murray loses the elbow pads. They're in centre ice just now, sizing each other up. Yeah. Dancing around, peanut against McKinney. They've still not grabbed each other. Here we there go, we they're together. One shot, miss over the top. Murray's grappling with them. Another couple of hits over the top from McKinney. And a couple of uppercuts. And Peanut hits back. Catch him a good couple in the face. The gel's over the back. And Ross Murray gets the takedown. Pretty even fight, I'd say, Andy. Pretty even but fight. Ross Murray with the takedown. And plays up to the fans, as he always does. Yeah. I think that probably stems from a couple of them hits. The big hit's just not going to be accepted. Yeah, Ross Murray didn't like them and sticking up for his teammates. <laughs> Chamberlain actually sneaking in from... Alright, so we're going to get some pushing here. 
Griffin drops the gloves. He's going after one of the Raiders players who didn't seem any interested in that. And another scrap. And they've gone after. I believe there. Looks like it is. It is. Coulter, time to pass, lovely to Greaves, Greaves slams on, lets Tonar take Whoa. the ball, takes a bit of Greaves with him, Greaves yeah. and Tonar, we're go. going to go. go, Greaves and Tonar have gone, well it's battle of the heavyweights, Tonar's not going to want to go down without a fight, the shirt over the head, Greaves has got him, down goes Tonar, Greaves throws in a couple after, that'll be stopped, Murray is not happy about that, Greaves and Tonar not finished, Struan right in the face, he's happy with that. He's taking the player off the ice. Greaves happy with the good tilt and the win. Literally burst out of nothing, that one. start to this one with very few scoring chances. Chaos at centre right, Wells and Foster going at it. And we are going to get a fight here. Wells is going to pummel Foster well. They'll get the crowd on your side. I have no idea what was going on there. That was a chaotic 60 seconds there. Wells and Foster. <coughs> well, drop the gloves, although I'm not sure Foster really wanted that. We sort of forced to in the end, and we'll see what the penalties are going to be. Well, that was after a chaotic sequence and all sorts. Of but it comes back to that same situation. We've got a good dance here. We're going to go Godfrey and Sajak. Ding a ling ling at the link centre right now. Both teams, 10.36 on the clock. Both players just standing, just dancing around, looking to get that advantage. You can see both players, Sam Sajak can play through with both hands. Godfrey ties his man up, and again, Godfrey trying to go over the top. Godfrey's got that left hand tied up. He tries to go right. Sajak slips that right free. Catches Godfrey twice right on the nose. 10.36 on the clock, and you don't mind that from both players. Game's kind of fight between both teams. Sajak not happy with how the Leeds Knights are playing, and Godfrey, they the same response from theirs, but you got to like that as they come through.
gain that blue line, drive it down into the corner for Ulrich. Ulrich loses that play again, two on that two way with the Manchester Storm, still back into the corner. And we got the drop slot, big tilt here in the corner right now. Hodgson's has got his hand, he's got that left free here. Referee standing back, letting them dance here. Just both players just kind of tied up, can't get the arms free. But Hodgson again, early chance, he got that left going there. But you gotta like that right off the set, beside the green. Taking that backdoor chance and Again, Winnebeck with save, and Norris with a huge hit into the board, so we're going to get a big scrum now. Bodies are going to go, well, I don't know if we can get a good view of it on the camera here, but that's right in front of the Raiders bench. That was a forceful hit from behind from Norris. I don't know who it's <laughs> But every single player on the ice immediately jumping in. Sharks behind his own net. Dan's gets hit late by Yokoyama. Toner oh, doesn't yeah, like it. Goal. Here we go. Strew and Toner's trying to take Yokoyama. Yokoyama puts in a late hit. Strew and Toner doesn't like it. Yokoyama drops to the ice. Yokoyama just threw himself to the ice. Yeah. So he's not going anymore. Toner. But now, and now Danskin's going with Yokoyama. Let's go, Liam Danskin. They're tied up just now. Yokoyama gets the helmet up. Yeah. Danskin gets him down. There he is down. They're back oh, up back again, up. we're going round two, oh, Yokoyama, Yokoyama a couple over the top, Danskin now, Danskin gets Yokoyama yes. to the ground again, Liam Danskin takes the win on that one. A couple of good punches by Yokoyama in retaliation, yeah. he was knocked down twice there by Danskin. Now, I'm suspecting here there's going to be two penalties on the Sharks. Yeah, good work Danko. Yokoyama skates in, takes a seat as does Danskin, couple of choice words from the self-proclaimed goon himself, Ross Murray, if you've seen the TikTok through the week.
video in it. going to get himself thrown out if he don't stop.